So today we're going to look at how to create this uh, motion text animation. Now if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that and hit the bell icon so that when we create our videos, uploading videos, you'll be notified on our next video. So again, uh, let's get started. So to begin as you show, uh, we need to create this uh, solid color clip. So do a right click at a color clip then click OK. Again, uh, I have already created the um, effect so that I can just uh, put it in as a custom effect to create this uh, circle here. So let's bring our solid color clip to the timeline and I go to my custom effects and uh, just add on to this one. So this is what I have now. I want to have two of these. So let's uh, right click and do a copy. And when you do a right click and copy, you also copy the effects as well. So now that we have two here, uh, we want to zoom in from here. So you can see zoom in and zoom out. So here we're zooming out so that we can place the uh, color clip somewhere here and also the other one here. So let's do that. So first let's grab onto this little, uh, select one of the clip and grab onto this uh, center of this uh, solid color clip and just simply do it like that, like this. And then select the other one and uh, do the same thing. Just place it on the corner like that. Uh, bring your playhead somewhere here and add a keyframe. Grab onto the solid color clip again and bring it to the center again. And then select the other one, add a keyframe and do the same. Simply drag and until both of them are just the same. Uh, so the best thing you can do is just simply look at the numbers here and type in the number according to each of these so they have the both center there but for now uh, we're just doing this tutorial so just leave it like that and now uh, the next thing is to uh, bring this a little bit up here and convert it into a line from these other two sides so let's do that first let's move the playhead somewhere here now take note this effect is the crop by padding so you can do all those things with crop by padding so let's just bring the playhead somewhere here, add a keyframe, do the same with the other one, add a keyframe, and then move the playhead again. Why do we do that? If we just use this one and we convert it, it's going to be like there is no stop in between. So we want to have it to rest a little bit here and then animation taking place again. That is why we have to move and then add a keyframe again from here. And now from this, uh, we're going to use the X value here and move a little bit out like this. Let's look at the other keyframe here. So this is the other keyframe. So let's select that and then select our original, the other clip here and then add a keyframe. And then in the value, we just want to uh, click and drag it this other side like that. Something like that. And now we want this uh, circle to become a little nice line uh, in the middle here. So let's do that. Uh, move the playhead up like that again we're gonna add this one and then add the other one as well and then select the first one again make sure to select the keyframes there and then uh, something like this and then add the keyframe and this time hold on to this little handle here and just like that nice little lines like this and then bring this one in line with the x there and let's do the same let's select the other clip add a keyframe and do the same again just a nice line there something like that you can always use the number to make it equal size and then bring it all the way like this select the other one select the keyframe again and bring it in like that okay so they all should be in straight lines and uh, next thing is to put in our text so let's move the playhead here create our text and you can see that i have already saw background for the preview window here that is why it shows the little lines here so let's just type in our text Okay, so let's just place this text here because we're going to put another little text down below. Uh, come to the typewriter effect and uh, you can change something here if you want to. Uh, we can just leave it like that and create a title. Let's bring this one and uh, remember we're going to place it in the playhead here. And this is what it's going to look like now for the text. And let's just trim this, create another new track, click OK and then create a new text from here and type in our text and we want to 
text look smaller something like that and change the font as well and then check the typewriter effect here and then create and place this text up here where the other ones once the typing pin is there let's just join this other one here and uh, that's the intro there Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and uh, we'll see you back again in another video.